Breeding cassava to come up with a new variety that is tailored toward a specific need can take about eight years. And during these eight years, you are trying to identify what variety can withstand the harsh condition in the environment, a variety that, has, that is stable in terms of production, and a variety that will meet specific needs. Now, the eight years is a long time. So any investment done in reducing that amount of time would be very important. Well, the first thing is that cassava is clonally propagated. That means you take stem pieces of the mature cassava plant and you plant it for the next generation. So farmers plant the same thing year after year after year. But to do breeding, you have to go through botanical seed. You actually have to use flowers to make pollinations to produce seeds where you have new variation to select new varieties. The next thing is that cassava multiplication rate is low. And that means that to go from one individual plant that comes from a botanical seed to produce a variety, you have to multiply it by stem cuttings in order to be able to evaluate it and for first, first of all to select your new varieties but then to evaluate it with farmers and eventually to release it in terms of seeds. So its multiplication process is very slow. So the cassava breeding cycle in general is very slow and, a little, and slower than most of the other seed crops. So it's advantageous for us to want to speed that process. If you're going to do breeding, you need seed. As people who grow cassava, we rarely see the seed of cassava. But the breeders want to get seed, so that's why they are doing the flowering research. They want to increase the number of seed they are getting, and if they get enough seed, then that will help them to be able to have a lot of segregation and have a variety of lines to select from. So to us, it's very important to increase flowering, and we need it to have more varieties coming out. And the most important component of the whole project is to test genomic selection, which is a process of using DNA markers and relating them to the characteristics of the, the agricultural characteristics of the plants, and then being able to select based on the DNA characteristics of seedlings. And that allows us to make predictions about the performance of new varieties without having to grow them for many years in the field. Cassava takes more than one year to get the fruit. If they can do genomic selection, they can shorten the period before you determine whether the trait you're interested in is in the crop or not. So that's why we do both the flowering and the genomic selection work.